two off an interception and one off a force fumble. Uh, one interception was me going back at deep. Like I was at safety like I was back in high school. Felt natural, got to pick off that. Another one was a, um, a tip pick from battle. He did like a slant. Battle tipped it, punched it out, but I was in the air for some time. My dive got it. You do that a lot, dropping back kind of like a safety in this defense? Yeah, for the stars, like, we love mobile linebackers. We try to utilize, utilize that in any way, you know, like through stunts, through blitzing. It's either you blitzing, or you're going to be back there, or you're going to be disguising. Coaches love moving us around a lot of different type of places. You know, Coach Manny likes to see us go everywhere. Are you mainly at star right now, or are they moving you around a lot? I'm mainly at star right now. Kyle, are you ready to be a starter in this defense? I'm more than ready. I'm ready to impact my players. I'm ready to make plays. I'm ready to push everybody up, get everybody better. I'm ready to have, like, the best defense they ever had. What makes you feel like you're ready? I've been doing this uh, last year. First got my feet in the woods last year. I started already for two games. I was more than ready for those two games, especially North Carolina. I've been over preparing myself every day before practice, after practice, getting extra hours of film beforehand, afterhand. Now I'm bringing young guys in, like my boy Cam, get him ready too. I'm trying to teach him. When I teach him, I'm learning myself too. You know, you know me and my boy Heem and Bray, we've been definitely stepping up too. Uh, Bray, he had some playing time too. Last year we had like the same amount of step. I mean, same amount of uh, snaps. Um, Heem, he. Time starting since spring, so I know he ain't gonna be ready. I'm gonna be ready. Uh, I'm gonna be more than ready. Be George, you know, he definitely gonna be ready. He's been here for some time now. We all ready. What did you learn from last year? Give your feedback and your focus skills. I learned you really just gotta stay focused. Like, the game is just like practice. Don't go to do it. Don't try to be a hero. Know where you at. Know your job. Know your fundamentals. You read what you read, and then you go to the next step, and you just keep going after that. Don't do more than what you're supposed to do. Just keep doing what you've been preparing, and the moment will come. There's been a lot of talk about how deep the linebacker unit is this year. Do you guys see yourself as one of the best defensive units and the one that can make the most impact on the field? Our goal this year is to shoot to be the best LB unit in the country. You know, this is our first year being called the Sharks. We're trying to revolutionize, revolutionize this position, we really made a big change this year. We see a big impact on what it did during the spring. We still trying to carry that on during this camp, but we just going to keep getting better. We all hungry. We all not complacent at where we at. We all want to shoot for more. We all definitely some hungry people that try to make plays every single day. Talk a little bit more about that shark nickname. Who came up with it, and why does that, you know, stand? Why does that represent your unit well? You know, we all came up with it. Since winter, coach always been trying to find some things that sharks do to like, you know, translate it to uh, football and stuff. Me personally, you know, a shark is a personal thing for me because I've been doing that since high school with, you know, my city, my boys. You know, he ain't been doing that since high school with his boys back in Columbus. So it was like a great opportunity to switch it up, rub, you know, rub off the three and nine diggers and have a new step. Lately, we've been saying a lot of eat face. So that have been like a main culture at Sharks. You know, we're going playing fast. we swimming fast. we over here trying to drown anybody that's trying to test the waters. And we definitely eat face every day. When you, uh, when you said coaches trying to show you stuff about Sharks to translate to football, you're just learning a bunch of new shark facts or something every day? Every day. Yeah, he be Because <laughs> me personally, I never really, like, analyze sharks as much. I just know it's like everybody loves sharks. Everybody know what a shark is. It's a top predator in the ocean, besides so kill a whale or whatever. But everybody know like the basics of sharks. Coach was always like breaking down like specific details about sharks and all that. It was really funny and interesting. And then one time in meeting, we walked in and we just saw a whole uh, zebra face like just bitten off. So we like been emphasizing the point of just eat face, like just be vicious, you know. Zebra face was bitten off. 
<laughs> yeah, no, we was watching some wildlife stuff, and he just paused the screen. It was, um, it was actually a gator that did it, but mm -hmm. the whole like from the zebra nose to the whole face, it was just chopped off. And ever since like my freshman year, PJ said something about E face, and we always just been calling each other that. And then I was in the meeting room like E face, and then one of our freshmen, Jeremiah. He was a hype man for a couple days, so he hyping us up. He telling us, yo, we about to go out there and eat some face. We about to shark the running backs, you know? So that's definitely been hyping us up, so yeah. You're, you're from Jersey. You ever seen a shark? No, nah, I never saw a shark in person. Mm -hmm. I went to the aquarium. I say I saw a shark in the um, aquarium a couple times, but I have been to aquarium since, like, I was, like, 10, year old, 10 years old or something for a school trip. Bro, never saw one at the beach? Nah. <laughs> We heard, we heard from the offense that you guys were blitzing a lot in the scrimmage, and that played a big role in you guys uh, you guys winning the scrimmage. Did Randy Bates kind of like like unleash you guys a little bit in the scrimmage, or was that is that just kind of you guys kind of play how you always play? Our goal is to be the most aggressive defense in the country this year, so that's definitely going to be our first step. We just gave the offense a taste of it. Midway through the scrimmage, Coach Doozy said, not to blitz as much, just so like we can get better looks for the offense, because we was just abusing it, blitzing, blitzing, blitzing. But that's our goal this year. We try to show them like we're blitzing. Like what y'all gonna do? Y'all can know the play. We still gonna blitz. What y'all gonna do about it? So Coach Darduzzi said, "Hey, don't blitz." You guys like let's keep blitzing. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that confidential. <laughs> <laughs> but in some returns, we just called a different call and. <laughs> We did our key runs and just jumped the play. So, yeah. <laughs> How would you characterize your knowledge of the defense now compared to this time last year? You personally. Uh, coach always said I understood the defense through a straw. I only understood the start position. So I took this time during the offseason to understand why they call certain things. Coach emphasized understanding the why behind stuff so you can understand more of what to do for you. Understand why certain run plays exploded last year. And understand like how linemen operate. I understand the whole defense so you know that even though they're not telling you to watch the outside, but you know these D linemen are gonna be stunting in. You know the running back is on the opposite side of you, so you know most likely if there's a run play, the lineman is gonna slide towards this way so to watch the outside. And little stuff like that, it's like, that's just the next level. You know, you got the one-on-one -on -one defense, the, the simple things, and you got 202, that coach like to say, that's like getting to the next level, the next step of knowing how linemen operate. And you got 303, understanding the quarterback reads, the job, the timing and all that. Do you feel like this offense is challenging you guys to think and, and, and decipher faster because of its pace and that's helping you guys at all? It's definitely challenging our coverages, our pacing, our conditioning. You know, like the first week of camp, we all was dying at defense. We all was loafing. We all was just moving around sluggish. Now the defense is definitely moving around faster. We still got a couple guys loafing, but it definitely wasn't as bad as the first day. I feel like this offense is going to preparate us way more than any offense we had before. So I feel like I'm excited to see what we do the first day because I know against Kent State, against Cincy, against West B, we're going to have a way easier time against them than what we're doing now because as soon as they get a play in, you try to look for the call, you get the call. As soon as you turn around, the offense already lined up, mm -hmm. you know? So we already got used to that. If we already got used to that, imagine what we can get used to against any other opponent. Is there a sense of pride right now between like you got a lot of sophomores, you got you know your redshirt sophomore Jordan Braylon, you know guys that are young and ready to make an impact like right now. Is there y'all kind of forming a group amongst yourself there? Yeah, um, I don't like to call it pride because once you have pride, like too much pride, then you know you get to arguing back with coaches and stuff like that, acting like you know it all. But I definitely say like we some hungry young people. You know, you got me, I'm older than all three of them. It's my red shirt year, I've been injured for some time. So now I'm getting the same amount of snaps as them. Time to finally step up, become a leader, as all the coaches always want me to do. You got Braylon, true freshman, the 
definitely one out of the other three that got the most snaps. You know, he showcased what he got, and he keeps showcasing it. So I'm definitely excited to see him play. We got he, he didn't get no snaps, barely last year. You know, he's definitely going to come off hungry. You know, you got zone goals, you know what he want to do. So he definitely showed y'all what he got during the spring, and he want to keep showing y'all during the summer once the season start. Then you got Jordan. He just coming off an injury throughout the spring and stuff. So this was like, he been practicing for some minute now. This is his first practice on full go. So you know, he was definitely hungry today. He gonna keep coming with that intensity probably for some time now. Cause you know, I've been there too. I already know what he going through. So I'm definitely like, I trust all the people that's next to me in that linebacker room. I know we all gonna step up and we can definitely showcase that we the best linebacker in the country. Just from going against them every day in practice, what have you seen from like Nate and Eli? Eli, he a hard one because like they both just play so different, so mm -hmm. it's hard to like adjust. You know, Nate, he gonna hit you with the because they like the quick snap, so mm -hmm. he gonna hit you with the pump fake a couple times when he time time the blitz. Yeah. So you know he gonna catch me sometimes with that, and then Nate, he likes to look off and then quick snap, and then he likes to like take his time with his reads. You know, if it's a, a RPO or play action, he likes to really carry it out. You know, Nate would sometimes be quicker with it. And you know, it's just a whole different bunch of pacing, but they bet they definitely both is balling. I can't wait to what this, see what they do during the scrimmage. You mentioned RPOs, they running more RPOs against you guys this year? I can't name one play that's not an RPO. <laughs> so, you know, that's the new offense. That's how all the offense probably is gonna be now. That's really challenging. Our cover four coverages, cause you know, cover four is a strict coverage that plays based off numbers. So we've definitely been adjusting to that, seeing how other teams probably will see that as a weakness and try to use that against us too. So every day we just install new things, keep fixing up new things, it's just making us stronger. Do you have a favorite role in the defense? Like, do you like it when you get to play back and help in those cover four spots, or do you prefer being the hunter at the line of scrimmage, searching for the sack or the tackle for loss? It depends. I say um, during base, I definitely love being you know, the coverage guy, covering Pop, mm -hmm. covering Kanate, I love that. You know, you know they try to give him the ball. I'll rather get it. I always tell my people, I'll rather get a pick than a sack. But, you know, when it gets to Delta, third and long and stuff, that's when they change the package up and they have me on the line. Mm -hmm. So I definitely would like to showcase my priority and, you know, get off the edge a couple times. How often have you covered wide receivers in camp so far? It's a couple times during pass, Kelly. We mainly get those type of calls during pass, Kelly. Okay. During run, you know it's gonna be RPOs and stuff. And our main objective is to stop the run, so that's when they have me in it. Anything final? Kyle, thank you. Thank Appreciate you.